Uh, not Bart van Ark, as it states on um, uh, uh, on the program. Um, as this is much about uh, skill change, Bart thought it would be good if I would work on my presentation skills. Um, I am Bert Colijn, and I will be doing uh, much of the work in this uh, project for the conference board. Um, work package three is um, on the implications of technological change for organization of production and the employment structure. Um, we will be working in this with um, uh, ourselves, the Conference Board Europe. We are based in Brussels. Europrism is based in Cyprus. IBS comes from uh, Warsaw, Lewis from Rome, and the Free University of Amsterdam. So it's really um, a good European collaboration that we have in, uh, in this work package. Um, when looking at... Um, seems to be stuck. Oh, there we go. Um, on what this uh, work package really entails, then um, um, we are going to focus on how the technological changes regarding uh, the socio-ecological transition is going to influence output and economic growth um, and um, uh, uh, the employment structure um, regarding that. Um, uh, we are going to uh, work from um, uh, uh, basically from the input uh, out, uh, onwards. So uh, we're basically going to focus on um, uh, the relationship uh, from inputs to uh, the output um, and to employment. So we're going to look at uh, capital, labor, um, energy, materials, and services. And um, um, besides that, also um, intangible inputs uh, are going to be looked at because they have become uh, more and more important um, in our economies over um, uh, the decades. Uh, so we're going to see how that influences energy as well. Um, then there's a part on the distributional effects of the ACT. So we're going to look at, for example, how this influences wages and skills and the intensity use of modern inputs. And um, um, in the end, we're going to look at how the effects of innovation and technological change on the economic structure um, uh, caused by the SCT will be assessed. Um, that's uh, divided up into uh, nine deliverables, of which um, uh, the Conference Board Europe will do um, the first four, uh, starting off with the State of the Art Report, which will be more of a collaboration, um, going into um, uh, defining the databases uh, and updating those um, into the first work, and then um, uh, the rest of the work will be uh, done by the partners individually. Um, ending with uh, a policy report which uh, will uh, conclude all of the implications of this and um, uh, will be a collaborative effort on um, writing up how this will uh, influence policy and, uh, and social partners. Um, to give you a bit of a taste of what um, the uh, separate deliverables will be, um, first of all, um, we will be looking at uh, updating the EU CLEMS database. EU CLEMS is a, a FP6 project that has um, uh, recently been, um, uh, been finished. Um, uh, this is uh, going to be the input for, um, for our work for, uh, in, uh, in this work package, and um, uh, this database uh, um, is uh, on all of the inputs, so on uh, capital, labor, energy, uh, materials, and services, but the um, energy component in that um, is uh, still incomplete. So we're going to look in a collaborative effort with the University of uh, Groningen, that is, uh, was the main um, uh, partner in um, that FP6 project. Uh, we're going to look to update um, uh, and get that um, uh, part of the database up to speed and also um, see if we can extend the database to be as, um, uh, as timely as possible. Um, uh, besides that, we will also look in um, uh, to see if we can get uh, data from the World Input Output Database, which is a currently running um, European Commission project um, that has very interesting data that can be used for this project, not only for our work package, but also for work packages, um, uh, uh, for other work packages that will be uh, working in this. Um, the second deliverable um, that we'll be doing is um, a growth accounting framework in which we will include the energy component that we have uh, included in the EU CLEMS database at that point, hopefully. Um, uh, this will be um, uh, a breakdown into um, 32 sec uh, sectors and hopefully 72 um, uh, industries. And we will look at how um, um, uh, the contributions of growth will be in those industries and what contribution energy will be in that. Um, also, we will take a look into how uh, green um, uh, an industry uh, is so that we can make comparisons in the energy contribution uh, to growth uh, for various types of uh, industries. Um, and besides that, um, also a labor composition uh, breakdown, so such as age and gender uh, and skill level will be um, uh, refined to uh, make that comparison with energy as well. 
um, uh, the deliverable that we will be looking at afterwards is deliverable that um, uh, looks at intangibles. Uh, uh, intangibles has been um, have been surging in our economy um, uh, in, in importance, but it's underrepresented in uh, in the data. So examples are, for example, human skills or R and D or software, uh, and um, we're going to see how the growth accounting framework changes when uh, we include those variables and how that influences energy. So if there is a, a substitutability or a complementarity between energy and intangibles, um, and um, we will be doing that using econometric techniques. Um, then Europrism will um, take a look at uh, the effects of uh, ICT capital. Um, and um, they will be uh, looking at um, uh, sectoral employment and um, substitutability um, between different types of labor inputs using an intertemporal optimal production model, um, which has been defined by Bernstein et al. Um, they will use EU CLEM sectoral data for that as well, just as um, in the deliverables that we'll be doing for this. Um, and um, uh, the model will be used to um, assess the cost benefits of adapting new technologies in terms of employment and capital formation. Um, the Free University of Amsterdam will look at a, um, uh, a labor market structure that they have a framework for that they have been using before, um, that they will look at how this influences wages. So this is um, basically looking at how skill bias, technological changes will uh, affect wages um, in um, European countries. And this is something that they have been working on before and will um, redo for um, a timely update as that was for a couple of decades ago. Uh, then Lewis will um, uh, look at uh, uh, essentially the uh, technological changes uh, from the um, social ecological transition on ICT and, um, uh, and energy use um, uh, from a more micro uh, level, so uh, where um, we will be looking at it from a more um, uh, sectoral and, uh, and macro um, level, they'll be looking at it from, from a micro level. Um, and they'll be using a technical efficiency model for that as used in Bernstein. And um, uh, they're at, the mo at the moment, they have uh, collected their databases and are uh, working on harmonization, so they are well underway with their work um, already. And finally, um, a model of social ecological transition um, uh, will be uh, uh, done by uh, IBS. Um, they will look uh, at this from a general equilibrium framework, and they will be investigating the impact of growth on uh, of, uh, on growth of uh, the changes in energy efficiency, lowering emissions, and the deindustrialization by technological change. Um, so, and the, then the final uh, deliverable will be a policy report in which we wrap up all of this uh, and um, come up with policy uh, uh, ideas. So, I think I finished uh, well in time, which is something that never works when I'm cooking, so I am uh, very satisfied. Uh, fantastic. So, we've got time for plenty of questions. Uh,